or have extra attack speed if need be. And they'll just the go with the Alc mid. Alright, just into the Alc for LGD. And again, we've seen nothing to say. Oh, sure. Uh oh, he's got time lock, so he should be fine. A remnant, however, pulled back from Nisha. Nicely hit, and there's going to be the blood grenade, so never mind. Foxy will grab the first blood. They also saw the. Hey, it's time dilation and just getting the value points in kinetic field and higher levels in glimpse. Like, you can't yeah. fully commit for the run in when you're just dragged back. You can't run through the kinetic field in the well, well positioned usage for Y. You find Planet Town Bot, though. Oh, they might find more, though. Is Zeal in some trouble? Trying to hobble away, but Mickey with that first meta coming through. Being spent from both teams here. A lot of fighting back and forth. Shiro, I think, is pretty happy with the state of this lane, though. We don't have a Vanguard quite yet on Zai. Why? Continuing to just be super annoying here on this disruptor. You know how bottom lane, they do find another kill there on him as good. How often they're dying in this count. They are playing up top, though. They can do. Yeah, Foxy. He is gonna get telekinesis back. Has to be careful. Is why he's here as well. We'll get a six-minute power rune. Is it will spawn bottom. Nisha gets himself an arcane rune and opens up here onto planet, trying to find this kill. Camel Raid gonna be popped by nothing to say. And Nisha, he's got no spells left. He's gonna have to wait this one out. The physical barrier will help out quite a bit here, but nothing to say won't build much. Him off behind the tower. Boxy will finally finish off. Why? Down here as well, which against the Alc always feels good. I can say still wants to find some Ooh, Nisha! Very nice. Oh. Gets the die there behind the tower. The concoction does pop here on nothing to say, and he's out of that chemical rage now. The remnants pull him back. They're trying to finish him off. The Alc is falling low, but the damage reduction or the oh my minus God. armor is too much. Three points in the acid spray. He's going to get another. The Glimpse back grabs Insania. Very aggressive of Nisha. Just looking to play fast, looking for kills. And again, with, with the tempo you have from the rest of your chorus, like even Mikke can join in a little bit early once he has a Dragonlance Yashu and push him in. And they're gonna find nothing to say here in the mid lane. Completely isolated, he doesn't actually have the ult available. It does stun up the clockwork, but Foxy putting so, so much attention on the lane up the stun. Bottom lane Zeal is well in trouble, gets sundered up by the TB, but he will live, it looks like. Back behind the tower, Zai gets the surge off. He did drop that wall, but a glimpse will be there to finish him off. So, the ruling just is worth a lot. They've got the chrono to find a pick off here on Shear if they wanted to commit. Foxy might be in some trouble here, trying to play in the trees. Instead, they're going to turn their attention on over to the dark seer. The chrono comes out. They get the meteor hammer onto two. Can they finish them off, though? Zai, pretty tanky. As a search to play with the back, he does pull them back. They take down Shiro first, and now in comes the voice here. He's managed to grab the alchemist. He's dead as well. They turn their attention on the planet. Could be three kills. Can't play to find anything he does. He takes down Zai. Okay, has that meta pop. He's gonna be able to put a lot of pressure onto this bottom lane tower if he wants. There's a catapult still alive. My question is, will LG show up and try and defend this? I mean, this tower is so important nowadays, opening up access to that Wisdom Rune, the Triangle, and the Tormentor. This Foxy's trying to scout for the other members of the LG lineup. We'll go ahead and back away now to start to see some heroes. Does have the hookshot available here on Boxy, but the concoction into the Meteor Hammer. So much damage is Boxy trying to get a snipe. <laughs> Not going to be there, though. The Dispersers can feel pretty nice as well to upgrade into for Shiro. Again, it, it's it's a pretty good slot item, although mid. Yeah, mid indeed. They're looking to get Y. Turns down to the Vessel there from Nisha. Minus armor is huge along with your Acid Spray. Pretty much down to minus 13. Amplifying the unstable. He's got a surge, but won't get a chance to use it as the meteor hammer is going to fall on him as well. And a lot of damage being done there. A great dispel from that brew match with the glimpse back and Zai will burn underneath this lacking. I think a little bit of lockdown for this faceless void. But top lane, they will scan out. They find nothing to say here on Clockwork, hook shot, it's available, but Nisha just gonna be able to hit him with that vessel there. It's the cause of crap him in place. Shiro comes in, a nice Chrono Spear trapping three, but where's the damage follow up? He needs some help. He time walked in for this. Will be safe there. By Y with a great static score. The Crimson Guard reducing so much damage. The Shiro's still trying to get active, but in comes Mikke here on the Terra Blade. Choose right through planet. And they've got the Brewmaster on the backside. The splits not available. Ends up being a three for zero for the side of Liquid to any target. It's just a little bit messy for LGD to kind of force out. Gives Liquid no thing. 
Misha with this vessel, man, is doing so much work. Be careful. Shiro does have a time lock available in just a moment. We'll be able to get away, but the vessel got to split now. Work. Yeah, does get the split. He has an Astral step away. Nisha, where are you going to go? Drops a remnant defensively. Astral steps back in instead. Tries to finish off Shiro. He doesn't get him in time. The vessel did come through, but it's not going to be enough to finish off the base point. And now Zai trapped instead. It's going to be a disaster here for Liquid. They're going to lose three across the board. Radiance available as well. He just needs to get it off the courier. And those three items are going to be very problematic for the side of Liquid. Turn opening the blink in, he manages to find the clockwork to start the fight and we'll throw cogs there to trap three heroes, but the rest of Liquid, they need to bail. Manage to find him. Say, stunning him out up surface. once again, but they do see him in the trees and the trucker grabs a perfect static storm. He does have a Yule to try and stall this one out, but he's gonna miss the hook shot. Gonna get saved here thanks to the device and Misha's alive. Split. They'll be able to buy themselves some space here as they disengage completely off the side of PSG LGD. And they'll, they'll go for a smoke They're play out. They're thinking of going for nothing to say here, but he has the BKB, and they know that. Seal would be a much bigger target if they can find him the back two back. He's going to try and hold the He doesn't have to split, actually. He was using the last fight. And now, why trapped inside the cogs? The sentry goes down, and they are just shredding through these heroes. On the other side, they've caught the Alk. He's going to be forced to BKB. And TP on out, no hook shot available for one more second. Had to feel comfy just with a chrono. So you just have to surrender. With, it, with this opening, with a secondary life up, and this is when we need to see them take these tier two. Take the tier twos, take more of the map away from the side. Extra agility and then the 45 damage, obviously, plus the buff. Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely a good upgrade. It just definitely feels like one of those convenient late game upgrade trades instead of Misha mid lane, they just dropped the chrono on him instead. I mean, the Dispersor is up. So there's that plus 45 damage, I, I don't know, like, I'd expect this as like a fifth item pickup as an upgrade. Yeah. So well, they're gonna be able to find a Crystal Maiden off onto the side here. The hook shot does come through. They're gonna be able to try and buy him some space to survive. And he's holding the BKB for the moment, but with Mickey rotating on in, nothing to say. He needs to be careful. The jump in from Misha on the backside. He's caught wide. The Astral Step away actually misses. He's gonna be saved by that Disperser. That bonus move speed gets him to safety. Mickey trying to close the gap here. If they get Zeal, if they can actually find this kill before this split would be huge. He grabs him with the Remnant. Oh. Cool. The split comes out anyway. Nisha can't actually stop him. He's gonna get stunned up as well. Got that Yule to buy him some space, but instantly dispelled there from this Panda. And they get a big kill. They don't have the damage. Like with without this Void Spirit, Mickey, he's gonna have to just back away. Like, hey, come on, let's get this. <laughs> Dude, that's what he'd be like. You're a support. You're like, come on, guys. I need this shard, please. Looking for Mickey here on this Terrorblade. He does have an Aegis, but instead he just jumps on the backside, finds the Crystal Main Insania save with the Boots of Bearing. He will build the Remnant up here on nothing to say. Mickey getting trapped by Shiro. Again, he has the Chrono Spear, but an Aegis for 50 more seconds. He's gonna buy him some work. Seal gets caught instead of the Brewmaster, and he's dead. That means no split. And PSG LGD knows they can't fight without it, so they will disengage. Uh, Terrorblade, it's, it's a nasty time for Mickey. Oh, they got Vision of Zeal in the mid lane. They can grab the hook shot, they do, but can they actually pull him back in time? I mean, they just got the battery assault, it's enough. The Brewmaster dead once again. He needs this BKB, man. Q on his item Q on a heart over an Aeon disc or a BKB. Because it, it's not been easy for him when he's caught out. Maybe they're assuming they start these fights in their end? No? I'm gonna say he wants say. to go in. They have a good warrior on the backside. It's gonna expire, but NTS just goes in anyway. The Remnant's not gonna connect. He gets a vision on the backside. He gets on top of the Brewmaster. Gets pulled away thanks to thanks to that Rubik. Okay, back right. wall. wall traffic him. And goodbye, Disruptor. They've caught Planet as well on the backside. They're trying to do what they can here on the Terror Blade. He did get the Static Storm to slow them up for the moment, but it's going to be both supports dead without buyback from PSG LGD. And Insania, he's going to go for it. He's looking for him. He's got the freezing field. He's just crushing the Elk all by himself. And now Zeal, he pops that split, trying to get out. They will TP home on Shiro. But you've lost three. And Roshan, now the objective for Liquid. The backup isn't there in time. And it 
they can't connect this team fight play, which your lineup excels at, then I'm Link, pretty sure Nisha. they don't. Let's find the Brewmaster here. A little bit afraid of initiating all on his own, but... There's a Ward Sentry. He does get the Vessel out. He has another Remnant to play with. Captures him. Has the Silas to follow up. He's just trying to buy himself some space. And it's going to be enough. Zeal's gone. He's got the damage. What a play by this Void Spirit once again. If he manages to just jump in onto these supports, he can just crush them super easily. Melee Barracks will fall. The range will fall as well. They have one more fortification for this mid lane if they do continue to force the objective. But they might back out now that this brew match is coming up. I even feel like it matters for the most part with all of this control. Even a hex up on Nisha as well. Just guaranteed kills when this Void Spirit comes in. They're getting really good vision from this clockwork. They know exactly where PSG LG are hiding on the backside here. They don't have some high ground board, but I don't want to go in anyway. And Nisha goes in, he gets the hex here onto the Brewmaster, but it's not exactly the best target at the moment, unless you can really follow it up. Instead, they get the hex on a face one. He can be a huge match is four, but the Chronosphere turn around here from Shiro. Freezing field from Insania, trying to just kill the pandas, and they're in so much trouble. Plan is going to go down. There's no damage coming through from the side of PSG LGD, as they are getting absolutely destroyed. Deal forced to cancel the ult and blink out. He's going to be fine, but Nisha, he's caught Y on the high ground here. Nisha? Channeling a TP, where is he going? He's got Shiro on the bottom side of the map. The Hex comes out, he gets the kill. Oh the bots onto the boarded wave. What a sick play. Madman, that, that's a major kill to find. They forced the buyback. So void no buyback, no chrono. Easy high ground push lined up here for Liquid. And once more, LGD, they're fighting into the initiation of Liquid. Like, they get the chrono off after a big back wall instead of just instantly retreating. Oh, what a oh my back god! Here for hook shot. It can't be more beautiful than that. An instant oh. GG. What a sick play. Liquid, they're on point. Like, they slow down a little bit. It feels like they're giving a lot of space out for LGD to get that form game going. But in the end, LGD can't take any of these fights. Their initiation angle's way too awkward.